Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review on a Bandai High Grade 1144 scale Gira Zulu. So this is a successor to the Gira Doga. Take a look at the box real quick. All right, so released in 2011, made in Japan. This is a Neo Zeon's mass-produced mobile suit. Uh, this one's actually the Gira Zulu guard type. Alright, so I'll take a look at the picture. It's a modified version of the original Gear of Zulu. Here, and I will talk about that very soon. So, we got some pictures of the Gear of Zulu and accessories. Original retail price 2000 yen. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the box real quick. I mean, the manual. <laughs> so, very awesome. This one's made from titanium alloy and ceramic composite. Uh, beam machine gun, beam hawk, stern faust, grenade launcher, hand grenades, and shield. Hmm. Stern faust, huh? Where is that? I don't see any stern faust. <laughs> okay, it's kind of weird. Oh, well, I guess the stern faust must be attached to the grenade launcher. Yeah, that must be it. Alright, and then we have some pictures of the uh, Gira Zulu guard type and uh, yeah some more pictures of the gear zulu guard type okay so uh this is like a, a modified version of uh or a retool version of the original gear zulu from uh, the unicorn line so basically uh we have some leftover parts from that kit we have the legs for the gear zulu original legs for the gear zulu and then uh, we have the colors, of course, part of the sleeve. Yeah, so I'll just put that away. Also got the, uh, I guess the chest piece right here for the original Girazulu. Also the <laughs> neck collar piece. Yeah, these all go together like that. Uh, it's been replaced with this one. Because uh, this guy must be a higher rank than the uh, previous Gear Zulu. Also, uh, for this one, we have uh, two different helmets. We have the one without the commander antenna and the one with it. Uh, this one, I gave him the commander antenna. And this one without it. It really makes it look like a German soldier with this helmet. <laughs> this type of helmet. So yeah, very interesting. So those are the leftover parts from the older kit. That the kit is based on, and then uh, let's actually do a quick comparison between the Gear Zulu and the Gear Doga. So you can see this is the predecessor, the Gear Doga. Obviously, the Gear Doga actually look a little bit bulkier than the uh, Gear Zulu. Yeah, it seems like this guy is a Gear Zulu that went on. Uh, this guy, the Gear Zulu, is a Gear Doga that went on a diet. <laughs> You can see big difference now according to the wiki uh, they uh, I guess they they did cut some corners because uh, of lack of funding or something and uh, made the uh, gear Zulu uh, when the gear Zulu is produced it's already pretty much obsolete yeah that's very interesting to know being obsolete uh, as soon as been uh, implemented, but uh, they're they're uh, they're good enough to uh, go toe to toe with like Federation grunt suits. So yeah, so there we go. That's a comparison. And for the accessories, we have the grenade launcher here. Yeah, I saw this was like a rocket launcher, but no, this is a grenade launcher. And uh, what the grenade is is a stern faust, which I guess is a grenade. <laughs> As you can see on the Gear Doga, we have the Stern Faust. So, yeah. So this thing launches the Stern Faust, and uh, it's just molded in this color. Doesn't show in the on the any of the art that uh, it needs to be painted. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Uh, we have two of these universal hands, gripping hands. One already uh, holding the grenade, and one just sitting here got one open hand and then we got one trigger finger that's attached to the assault rifle the beam machine gun 
with a grenade launcher on the bottom. Yeah, very interesting. Hmm. Well, this might be the uh, beam machine gun and this is the grenade launcher, so this must be the stern faust, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop this hand off and attach the beam machine gun. So we can see uh, there's a sticker for the sight on the beam machine gun and we got magazines attached to his front skirt or its front skirt. That's actually really cool. There's a ton of sticker on this set, so I will talk about that soon after uh, discussing the accessories. So on the back of the back skirt, we have this uh, attachment belt or this clip here that let you attach all its accessories. Except for the uh, beam machine gun, and this is like the uh, handle for the beam hawk. So basically, you just want to take the beam effect pieces and attach it to the beam hawk. And there we go. There's a beam hawk. Very nice. I'm not going to bother. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and have him wield the beam hawk with the other hand. Actually, you know, let's do it with this hand. All right, you can't just slide it in because of uh, this piece. So you're gonna have to de de uh, disassemble the hand in order for it to wield the beam hawk. So, very nice accessory. Take a look at that. All right, let's go ahead and pop this off. Wield the beam hawk, like so. Yeah, that's a, that's a fine looking weapon. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I'll talk about that, and then we hope to have two of these grenades, very nice, one's attached to the back of the uh, skirt here, uh, the ammo uh, accessory belt, I, I guess, just pop that right in there, we have two, and then we got a clip right here for the uh, Stern Faust, there we go, fully loaded, and this piece right here holds like the beam hawk, so that's <laughs> really awesome. Alright, and uh, last but not least, we also have the shield. Very similar to the one from the Gear Doga. Just uh, uh, like a smaller version, a thinner version. Also got the shield attachment clip right here, so you can uh, attach it in different positions. Basically, uh, all this does is clip onto the forearm, like that. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, let's get the shield off, and let's talk about articulation. Let's go ahead and pop this. All right. Anyway, all right. Let's start with the uh, hand. So, anyway, the hands on the ball joint. Attached to the poly cap, uh, we got a single bent elbow 90 degrees, no double jointed elbow, unfortunately. And then uh, we have the shield armor, uh, no, the shoulder armor. <laughs> shield armor. Yeah, I actually had to paint all the uh, white part on the outline here. Uh, it doesn't come with a sticker for this particular piece. It's a little bit disappointing, but we do have the stickers for the top of the uh, this spiky shield piece that attached to another spiky shoulder armor piece right there so uh, we can actually adjust that up and down a little bit the arms on the peg uh, attached to a peg via a poly cap we do have the bicep swivel really nice very nice then uh, you can actually move the arm up a little just a little bit yeah uh, we can rotate this 360 degrees uh, peg and uh, we do have a little bit of butterfly action via polycap so you can actually move that so that's pretty cool it's not the best articulation but it's not bad then uh, for head articulation you can actually raise the neck up all the way like that so you can look up and then you can rotate the head a little bit it's really hindered by these uh, side collars and uh, if you push it all the way down, uh, 
you lose all points of articulation on that. Uh, the mono eye is adjustable, but you have to pop the head off. And then there's a little notch on the bottom. Let's go ahead and try to do that. There we go. As you can see, this is not polycap, this is hard plastic. And we got the notch right here to adjust the mono eye. So now you can look left and then you can look right. Pretty cool. I don't know. I, I'm not too big of a fan of the look of this face because uh, it looks just like a gas mask. I mean, honestly, seriously, doesn't it look like a gas mask? I, I prefer the look of the old gear Doga yeah, or the Zaku. Yeah, just not a big fan of this uh, particular style of uh, Zia mobile suits, to be honest with you guys. Then uh, we do have waist articulation right there. If you can get rid of all the accessories, <laughs> you can uh, have it rotate 360 degrees. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. The stuff is starting to come off, so I'm not going to mess with it. And now uh, we have this humongous backpack that uh, gets really gets in the way. But it's a very similar backpack to the one we seen on the Gear Doga. Yeah. It's a, it's a scaled down version of that backpack. Yep. All right. And then uh, we got this back clip right here. You can actually move it a little bit. It's attached to a poly cap in the back of the back skirt. Uh, if you want to actually remove that, you can. And then you can plug that hole using uh, this piece right here. Actually, allow me to demonstrate that right there we have the hole right here and then you can uh, cover this up if you wish all right let's go ahead and pop this back oh we also have uh, stickers on the back if you uh, remove this some extra details all right so on the front skirt here oh what's going on all right so on the front skirt you can actually lift up the front skirt like that that's uh, one piece you can uh, cut in half or anything. And uh, on the front skirt, we have attachment points for the magazines. Yeah. And uh, what's it's just stickers <laughs> on these magazines. Probably had to remove those eventually and then paint them individually. Because uh, it, it doesn't, it looks okay, but it's not really that good. All right, there we go. We have the front skirt, and then we can uh, lift up the side skirt a little bit. Uh, no side cut. It's the old style articulation, just poly cab attached to the ball peg. Uh, you could, however, uh, move uh, the legs like that. <laughs> so that's pretty good. And we got the uh, peg hole for the uh, action action base. That's just nice. Then uh, we have a. Uh, double jointed knees however it's kind of hinder it's not too bad so it, it's okay and then uh, we have uh, feet that's attached to a hinge like that so you can move it all the way forward all the way back and then we have a, a ball joint on the feet let you rotate it Side a little ankle rocker pretty good all right, so this kit, a lot of complaints about this kit in, uh, involving uh, the stickers. All these uh, uh, sleep suits have a ridiculous amount of stickers. So yeah, this these stickers uh, pretty much took me like two hours to put on because uh, I had to make sure they line up properly and make sure they're properly secured. But uh, using the sticker is a lot still better than painting because if you're going to paint, it's going to take you even longer. <laughs> and to be honest, a sticker really doesn't look that bad. Yeah, if you can keep it, you know, properly attached. So you just got to uh, exercise a lot of patience when putting uh, these kits together. Uh, I think this is one of the reasons why I don't buy, uh, uh, you know, Zeon, Neo Zeon suits from the Unicorn lines. 
because uh, you know they uh, they just have all these ridiculous stickers, and people already are saying uh, bad things about the Sinanju having uh, that that many <laughs> stickers that you need to use. But yeah, uh, I, I still prefer that one over the real gray. I'm probably just gonna paint that one when I'm when I'm gonna uh, start building it. But yeah, this is a this is a really really nice looking kit if you uh, you know put some work into it. You know, just be patient and yeah, it looks really good. So uh, the instruction doesn't show that you need to uh, paint in the thrusters, so I didn't bother doing it. This uh, kit took me about eleven hours actually to put together, but. I mean, it, it does look really good. <laughs> it's well worth the uh, amount of work I put into it. So, yeah, uh, you can probably find this kit anywhere between eighteen to twenty-three dollars. And uh, yeah, if you have the patience, uh, I recommend uh, you know getting this one because uh, it, it's a really nice kit. If you uh, you know if you gen you lack general patience when it comes to building uh, kits and uh, applying. Uh, stickers and decals and stuff. Uh, yeah, you'd probably be better off getting the Gear Doga, because that kit doesn't have any, barely have any stickers. It's got two stickers, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So yeah, it can wield his weapon. It's really nice looking. But I think the the Gear Doga would do it for you if you're not really interested in the stickers so yeah all right that's pretty much it hope you guys uh, find this information helpful and as always thanks for watching